So what I'm going to show you today, because not everyone can run out and afford a set of rudder pedals, I certainly couldn't by the time I built all this. So what I did, guys, is I worked out how to implement my racing pedals as rudder pedals. The issue normally is that rudder pedals are designed uh, on one axis. So the left and the right rudder, they work on one axis. It's normally a rotary setup to create one axis, a potentiometer or a hall sensor, and they work on one axis. So the problem that you've got with uh, racing pedals is they all have individual axes for the throttle, the brake, and the clutch. But you can get software, it's free, you can get these apps that you can download, and they can allow you to merge your pedals together to become one axis. So in our case, we would merge our throttle and our clutch to become a left and a right, or a right and a left rudder pedal. And we can make them one axis, so then we can trick IL-2 Sturmovic or other flight simulator titles into thinking that you have rudder pedals. Now... It's not as easy as it sounds. There are YouTubes on um, the internet showing how to do this. And I'll tell you, it is not straightforward. They don't give very uh, concise, clear instructions how to do this. So guys, I pulled my hair out and I'm practically bald now working out how to do this. But I worked it out because once you've got that aspect of things worked out and actually you've worked out how to get your rudder pedals to speak to the emulator software, you get it all mapped you get one axis. Good luck trying to get IL-2 Sturmovic. This includes the newer series of IL-2 Sturmovic to actually see that joystick emulator. I've worked out how to do it, and I'm going to show you guys today, step-by-step, step, how to do it so you can set up a set of racing pedals as rudder pedals, so then you can save yourself some money, but you'll be able to get into some flight simming if you've got a basic joystick and throttle and use your racing sim pedals for better immersion and just for a much better gaming experience. Let's jump now guys to our how to set up racing sim pedals to use as rudder pedals for flight simulator games. Okay my fellow flight simulator enthusiasts, there are a few different programs that can be used to help program your racing sim pedals into rudder pedals. You can indeed use Joystick Gremlin, I have used that in the past basically to be your main controller for setting them up and getting their axes merged. You can also use uh, this guy up here, which is the one we'll be using today, which is called uh, Universal Controller. What you will need to work with both of these programs is you will need your joystick emulation, okay? So you need something that's going to emulate a joystick first, something that pretends to plug in as a USB peripheral okay vjoy is a program that does this okay so i will include a link in the description to the vjoy download you will download vjoy all you do is double click on it guys it downloads as an installer you'll double click on it it installs then you'll start it now to start it and we'll start it first because that's what we need to do it doesn't install as a desktop icon so to find it guys you just Go to your search bar down here in your Windows 10 on your desktop. You can see I've already got it here because I've searched it. Just type in VJoy in the search bar here and you'll see configure VJoy. It will come up. Just click on that to start the application. And what you want to do, if you want to copy what I'm doing, um, then I think it comes uh, already loaded with X axis. Just click on the Z axis. So tick that box. And then down here, this will be black. You can click on that to apply that. Now, it won't seem like it's doing anything for some time, okay? Don't panic. It hasn't frozen. It hasn't shut your computer down. Don't control alt delete and stop everything. Just be patient. After a little while, it will then apply the changes. This will be grayed out like it is here, and you'll be ready to go. Make sure enable VJoy is ticked here as well before you minimize this. Everything that's here, just leave as it is. Minimize this, guys. It needs to run in the background. So we won't be using Joystick Gremlin today, though I have used it in the past. I find Universal Controller is a little bit better because you can reverse the axis of the uh, axes that you're using, and we need to do that actually for IL-2 Sturmovic. So this is a good one to use, guys. So in the Universal Controller folder, once you've downloaded this, guys, and unpacked it, it'll come as a zip file. Unpack it. Once the folder's unpacked, click on the folder, open it, Navigate down to UCR, double click on this. This is our application. It's important to note, guys, that in VJoy, right, we ticked the Z box under axes, okay? Remember this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a brand new profile. So we're walking through the whole thing together. You can see here I've got profiles set up. So 
you will click on this plus profile here. Give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, Dr. ADHD Fun Times. Why not? <laughs> oh, now before we do this, uh, getting a bit carried away here, guys, just for a change. What we're going to do is we need to select what pedals we have. So for me, I use the Fanatec Club Sport. They're listed here in the list of what peripherals are plugged into my computer. That is what I need to tick. So if you've got Logitech pedals, you should see your Logitech pedals. If you've got Thrustmaster pedals, whatever pedals you've got, guys, they should show up in your input devices. You need to tick the pedals that you have. And then over here, output devices, we're using VJoy to emulate uh, the axis of our pedals. We are going to tick that. Then we're going to tick Create. Ta-da! Right, now what we need to do, guys, is we need to merge our throttle and our clutch to be one axis. So we're going to go here to Axis Merger. Click on this. Now we need to give this a name. I'm going to call this IL2 merge okay accept that and here we have our bindings right here's our club sport v3 pedals let me click on click to bind high output i'm going to use as my throttle so i click on that and it's the x-axis all right that's good actually because I'll be showing you what needs to happen with these particular pedals to get them to actually bind in IL Sturmovic after we've set this up. So now click to bind your clutch, press on your clutch, and it's the, at the moment they're two separate axes. How do we get them to work as one? We go to our V joystick merger section here. You click on these three dots here, you go to axes, and we select Z because remember, that's the one that we ticked. Now remember this. This is going to be really handy to remember when you go into IL2 Sturmovic. So then you can confirm when you press to bind this that it is indeed picking up that it is a Z axis because we'll use our X axis throttle to press in game. So if it says X axis, you know that IL2 Sturmovic is not seeing VJoy properly and you can have problems with this. So if you make it Z and you press your, whatever your X axis is, which with, with whatever pedals you've set up, if it says what your X axis is, you know that it's not seeing VJoy and you need to sort something out to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that now anyway, so then you shouldn't have that issue. We can confirm that this is working. Let's press on play here, right? Now that's what you have to do because that starts the merge. Now, if we click on our axes, you can see this is my throttle pedal and it is working that way. That one's working that way. That one's working that way. Now, we have a problem here, right? They're not moving the way they should. So my right rudder, rudder is moving right. So that, that'd be okay. But my left rudder is also moving right. We need to invert the low, okay? So we will click invert low. Now, my right rudder, and you can see here how VJoy is returning our axis to the center not taking it all the way off like it would if it was just its own axis. It would go all the way up and all the way down if it was a standard axis. But now it's only showing from halfway across to the right, like we need a right rudder pedal to show. And then when we click our clutch pedal, which will become our left rudder, it goes to the left, okay, and comes back to the center. So your rudder pedals will center when you take your foot off the clutch and they will center when you take your foot off the accelerator. This is now working as it should in Universal Controller. To confirm Windows is seeing it, come down again to your search bar here, click on Control Panel, go to Hardware and Sound, go to Device and Printers. Now, whatever your pedal set is, you need to right-click on that pedal set, okay? Mine's the Fanatec Club Sport Pedals. Right-click on that, select Game Controller Settings, okay? Look for VJoy. Here's your VJoy device right here, right? Click on that. Click on Properties. Now, this should move if VJoy and Universal Controller are working in Windows. And as you can see, they are. That's my accelerator pedal. It's starting from the center when it's off 
and going to the right as I need it to do. My clutch pedal is starting from the center where I need it to start, not right off, but at the center, and it's going all the way to the left. So Windows is seeing it. That means IL2 Sturmovic should technically see it. But there's one more thing we need to do because I can tell you from hard learned experience, peeps, that IL2 Sturmovic will not see it because what it will see, it will see the movement of your Fanatec pedals first because your Fanatec pedals, guys, are listed here as well or whatever pedals that you've got under Device Manager or here in Device and Printers. Uh, you can see they'll be listed here as well. So your Logitech or your Thrustmaster pedals will be listed here. So they're seen here. And IL-2 Sturmovic also sees them. The trick is getting IL-2 Sturmovic to see the V-Joy input before it sees your Club Sport or your Logitech or your Thrustmaster press. It needs to see V-Joy before it sees your actual throttle set. So what we can do to help enhance this, let's go out of this now, we know it's working. So do go into devices and printers and check and make sure this is working in Windows because if you don't and it's not working and you go into IL2 Sturmovic, you'll be trying all different stuff that you think is uh, not working and it's actually just not seen by Windows. So check that it's working in Windows first. We know it's working here. Let's save this. It'll just automatically save it. Now, what we need to do is we need to stop this. Now, see down here, guys, where it says percentage. This is under sensitivities, all right? Let me show you something. Let me play this again first. Now watch this. We want to see our V-Joy axis move when we press our throttle pedal, for example, okay? This is our throttle pedal here on the X-axis. We don't want this to move before this moves. So I'll press the pedal as slowly as and as softly as I can. See that? The X-axis which is the Fanatec pedals, it's coming on before our virtual joystick sees any movement. The pedals are moving. Now, you may have a control panel for your pedals where you can adjust the sensitivity in your pedals in, in, a, in an app for your pedals. If you can do that, then that would probably work as well. Now, you probably won't have to because you can. we can do it here in Universal Controller. So what we need to do is we need to make the V-Joy emulated uh, joystick here. We need to make this really sensitive so this moves before our pedals move. So then in IL-2 Sturmovic, it'll bind that before it binds your pedals because otherwise it'll just bind that pedal and only one axis will work. So how do we solve this problem? We go down to our percentage here, put it up to 5,000. 5,000, save it, press to start. I'm pressing my throttle. See that? So first, guys, do a couple of full presses, right? Now, just very gently press your throttle, and you will see the V-Joy axis just coming on, or the clutch axis just come on before, see that? See how it's moving? Guys, it is, it's is—it's pretty painful, but it works, okay? Now, you might have to try it a few times when you go to bind in IL-2 Sturmovic. Any larger... Um, sensitivities than this doesn't make any difference. So don't go too crazy. You might need to try a few different levels of sensitivity to get it working, right? Start it, do some big full presses on your clutch and your brake, right? And then just try and engage your throttle. Your thr the throttle works for me. It tends to allow V-Joy to be seen first more than the clutch. The clutch I have to press in more. There it is. You can just see V-Joy move before you see anything come on the axis here. And that's what you need, guys. Otherwise, IL-2 Sturmovic sees your pedals and it binds your pedal axis and won't bind this and you won't be able to use your rudder pedals correctly. So what you need to do now is you need to go into IL-2 Sturmovic and you need to remember that the axis that you need IL-2 Sturmovic to see is the Z-axis. So I know if I press on my throttle, which is an X-axis, in-game, if it reads X-axis, I know it hasn't picked up the Z-axis. So I will press on my X-axis button in-game until it sees Z-axis, and then I know it's seen the V-Joy stick, and you will bind that straight away then, okay? Then you don't have to worry about it again. Then you'll come back here, and you will take your sensitivity back down to 100, save it, Start this, and then you can go into your game and your rudders will work. So, guys, I'm not going to bother going back into the game to show this because it'll just take more time than we need, but this is what you have to do to get IL-2 Sturmovic to see the V-Joy axis here. 
merger. You've just got to set this sensitivity up here until you can get this moving before your actual pedal axis registers, okay? Because you'll be doing it in the HOTUS setup in IL2 Sturmovic all the way to the bottom of the setups in your HOTUS area. You will go to bind rudder and you just need to press ever so gently until it sees that Z axis. And once it sees that, that means it's seeing VJOY, it will be bound. If it keeps seeing your X axis or a different axis to the Z, just keep trying. Keep trying. Maybe come back here and fiddle with sensitivity levels. Keep trying. It will eventually work. That's the only way, guys, that I've been able to work out how to get it to work. But once it's working, it works perfectly. You've just got to remember each time before you start the game to start VJOY first, run it in the background, start Universal Controller, go to your profile you've saved. It'll be there in your saves. Start it. You can go on your game. Happy days. You are playing a flight sim with rudder pedals that are coming from your racing pedals. I hope this video has helped you in some ways. I hope it's helped you, Daniel, see that uh, you'll get a pretty good result from this type of three degree of freedom motion simulator platform with a flight sim. You guys stay safe, stay healthy, and take it easy out there.